Okay, so uh, DaVinci comes with uh, these uh, example scripts. Um, when I tried to run them by following the instructions in the README, there's a README uh, right there, um, other people were reporting the same thing that I was seeing. I had to do a couple things to work past a couple of issues, but then I finally got it working. So I'll run this right now. So if I type in like Python, and then uh, this is the example that I was trying to run. It now runs, and I have Resolve open right now to an untitled project. So if I go right here, here is untitled project. So it's actually getting that project info, and uh, it's displaying it here. That's what this sample does right here. So I had two problems that I had to work past. Uh, the first problem uh, was that I was running the 32-bit version of Python, but I'm on a 64-bit system, and DaVinci Resolve on this system is 64 bits. So you can check that by running Python. And when you run Python, uh, it'll say right here, 64-bit, if it is a 64-bit version of Python. Uh, if you wanna just double check, you can also go uh, in Task Manager. And what you do is you add, um, you basically add, I like to add the platform column and the elevated column. I just happen to use those. And it, once you add the platform column, you're gonna see the bitness, which is what it's often referred to of the executable. So this is the 64-bit Python. So that means the bitness of Python matches the bitness of Resolve. You can see Resolve is 64-bit. And so that was one thing that once I got past, and I can show you, uh, the first failure that I was seeing, so this is the sample. It basically is supposed to execute these statements here, and it calls into here to display the project info. So if uh, so the first thing it was trying to do was it was coming up here and trying to import a fusion script and then it was jumping down here and it was failing and i had to fix up my environment variables so if we come back here to the command prompt uh, you can see i have my python pass set up to uh, reference um, uh, the davinci um, modules there uh, for scripting. So if, you, if we look here, you can see there's a module called uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, script right there. And you want that to be on the Python path. And um, then I set up the two Resolve uh, paths as shown right here. And uh, once I had those set up, um, uh, I, I actually did that first and it was failing. Then I got the 64-bit uh, version of Python. What I did is I first went to the Python download site. Somebody mentioned that it, DaVinci Resolve works with Python 3.6. So I decided to stay focused on 3.6. Um, I went to this first 3.6 and there was no 64-bit download and I just didn't want to deal with it. I just went to one version back, 3.6.8. This is what I did. I'm not saying it's the thing that you have to do, but I went to Python 3.6.8 and then I went down here and I downloaded the 64-bit installer and I installed uh, the 64-bit version of Python. And so then what I finally did, and this was after a, a bit of playing around, is I went over to DaVinci Resolve because I recall somebody else saying that you actually have to set the permissions here. So this was defaulted to none. And I went here and I changed it to be local. And, um, and once I changed it to local and I click save, then I came over here. I was actually able to run Python here and uh, and run that example and it worked just fine. Another thing that I did is after I installed Python and modified environment variables, I exited uh, DaVinci Resolve and then restarted it back up. I wanted to start it back up so that it would observe and see uh, any changes to the environment which I had made. And um, I don't know if that's required, but that's what I did. All right, that's it. So uh, here I am, I'm able to run Python and this thing is actually querying uh, DaVinci Resolve and getting uh, information about this untitled project, which is right here. And uh, that's kind of cool. Happy Python coding with Resolve.